Hi, and welcome back to Infinity. In this video, we're going to talk about items, what they can represent, and how to create them. Items are the building blocks of your Infinity board, and they will be the core of your entire organization. In Infinity, you can organize anything, which means your items can be anything you want them to be. Tasks, documents, notes, leads, events, and so on. Depending on the view you choose, your items will take different shapes. In a list, they will look like long rectangular tickets. In columns, they will resemble cards. In a calendar, they'll be marked as events scheduled for certain dates. In a table, one item will be one row, while in a Gantt chart, they will look like bars with start and end dates. Finally, in a form, your items will actually be fields other people fill out. Now, Let's see how to create a new item. Adding new items will differ based on the view you're working in. For example, in a table, you'll see an Add New Row button at the bottom of the table. In a list, this button will be at the top of the list, and in columns, you'll only see a plus sign. Creating a new item, however, always functions the same regardless of the view you choose. Let's go to the folder New Tasks to create an item from scratch. Click on Add New Row. Now, let's type in the name for a new task, for example, create a new blog post for the website. And that's it, we've created a new item. Tasks are definitely not the only type of items you can create in Infinity. So let's add another item, this time in our Projects folder. For example, we can add YouTube videos as our new project. Or in our Metrics folder, we can add another row that represents a metric that we want to track on a weekly basis. If you need to add items in bulk, you can do so by pressing enter each time you add a new item. Whenever you want to see or alter the details of your items, just click on the item directly and the modal or sidebar will open. Here you'll see all the attributes you use to customize your item. For more information on attributes, check out our other video tutorials. If you want to delete an item, simply hover over it until three dots appear in the right corner of the item. In table view, the dots will be visible at all times in the left corner of the item. Choose the archive option to send your item to the archive. You'll be able to restore or delete it from the archive whenever you want to. By clicking on the three dots, you'll also be able to duplicate your item or copy its URL. And that's it. 